It says 85% of positions are filled through networking. 95% of professionals consider face-to-face -face communication vital for long-term business. What does that mean? Networking, okay. 38% of professionals find it difficult to maintain their business relationship. So uh, in 2020, I'm just gonna give you some reality. I met Oscar and Jesus, and they're like, hey man, you're, you're Mike, huh, from San Diego. I was like, yeah, man, what's up? Good, good to meet you. Was like, what do you guys do? We do car rentals, we do, we do like Turo. I was like, dude, that's sweet, man. You know, I have some toys. They're like, oh yeah, we know. I was like, what kind of car rentals do you guys do? We do Lamborghinis, McLarens, we do Rolls Royce, we do Bentley. I was like, oh, you guys do the real stuff. I was like, do you know you can make more money teaching people how to do that thing versus doing that thing? You talking about creating a course, right? I was like, exactly. They're like, Mike, we're already a step ahead of you. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So you have a course? You, you have a mentorship? They're like, no. I was like, what's going on? How long have you been trying to do this? I've been trying to do this for a year, Mike. I said, what's the problem? First video guy disappeared on us halfway through. Next video guy, content was garbage. It's like, bro, you don't need to do that. What you need to do is pre-sell. And then you do, you know, you, you pack everybody up and then you launch the course. They're like, wow, interesting. I was like, bro, listen, when we all get back to San Diego, come see me next week. So now I should have had all the damn receipts to show it to you, but I, I partnered up with these guys and then I made $377,000 and I, I got 25% and I did it in 60 days. Okay, so when I went to Vegas, most, most of the income I make historically is like on Zoom, it's virtual, especially during COVID, right? There was a lot of millionaires that were made. I believe there's over, it was, what was it, 8,000 or 8 million? 8,000 millionaires, 8 million millionaires made during COVID. So most of my business has been in Zoom. And I'm gonna tell you guys some weird shit. I was so used to Zoom when we opened up this office, I don't even want, I don't want to say anxiety, it was just a weird thing to see John every day. It was a weird thing to see Trey every day. It was a weird thing, like, cause I've been on Zoom for years for my lit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know me, I don't give a shit. Even before COVID? Uh, yes, it, cause my, my, before COVID, my company was small. Like, it was eight people. We're still making a quarter million dollars, but it was, uh, yeah, even, even before COVID, it was, COVID was what, 2020? 21, right? That's a, I mean, half a decade, almost half a decade ago, right? So, you know, if I go to the office, I, it, my last office was about the size of this spot right here. There's eight people there. So now I'm like, oh shit, there's Casey. You know, I know Casey from Zoom. I know John Payne for nine years, but I don't, like, it's, it was different. So what I learned is that, I'm telling you, there's nothing that could replace getting in the room. There's nothing that could replace a phone call, a Zoom call. It, you have to get out of your fucking house. You got to get on that freaking flight and you got to go to that event. That's what I found out. Okay. So, you know, like if you go look at Bam and Kevo, go, go to his, his YouTube, right? You know, it, it, it's like, I'm going to show you exactly how I have Mike Rishi down here. I'm going to show you how I have Bam and Kevo down here. Okay. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I just want to give you guys some stuff that's going to get you guys lit, turned up and stuff that you can use. Okay, so let's just go look at this real quick. Okay, so he had this podcast, and this woman had a podcast, and this girl, Selena Powell, I mean, you know her? She crazy. She like messing with all like the basketball players. Okay, and this, and then me, a month ago. But now you see me with Batman Kevo every single week. Every single week. Because I know how to network like a motherfucker. I, you cold, man, I, you finesse me. And I'm the finesse god, his, his, his chain says FG. He's like, you fit ass. I was like, how fit ass? He's like, I don't know how the fuck you convinced me to stay down in San Diego all week long to talk to your people. I said, come on now, you know? So, um, you know, all I'm saying is like, what I learned is like, you cannot, a Zoom call, a phone call, it's, it's not gonna replace getting outside. Okay, so here we go. Uh, here we go. Here's a quote by Tony Robbins. Okay, here we go. We got the timer, baby. We got 25 minutes right there. Everybody see it? We got 25 minutes, I'm gonna cut y'all loose. We're gonna fucking turn up tonight. Uh, it says, surrounding yourself with good people can affect every aspect of your life from business to romantic relationships. When you surround yourself with positivity, you're more likely to adopt empowering beliefs to see life as happening for you instead of to you. Just as you benefit when you surround yourself with people who make you happy, you suffer when those in your business or social circles are negative or narrow-minded, Tony Robbins. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys, I I'm want I'm everybody to do this. First person that does this, Leanne, did we ever take your steak dinner? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Willie, we took your flight? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. First person that does this, um, I gave you 250 bucks in this room. 
go downtown to your city, okay? Keat lives in Bay Area, North Cal, okay? Woodley lives in Chicago. Leanne lives East Coast, uh, Canada. Go downtown and just watch people. You're going to find, I'm, I'm telling you, like in San Diego, a lot of military people. You're going to go see like five dudes wearing polo shirts and wearing shorts that are khaki. And this guy has long pants that are khaki. And this guy has, you know, a blue polo shirt, Ralph Lauren. And this guy has a pink one. And then you're gonna go look around the corner and then you're gonna see like, oh, those are like the gothic kids. And then you'll see three girls wearing fucking hoodie sweatshirts. It's, I'm telling you, it's the weird, I'm telling you, it's the weirdest fucking thing. Cause like attracts like, right? So imagine, ma imagine Willie, I'm with you. I'm with Mike. I want Miguel, I want Kevo, and Mike Barron. And that ain't nothing but some fly young brothers that all some fucking grab some cash type shit, talk about what's really happening right now. Cause we, you, you see, like attracts like. You, you, you understand? So what I'm gonna tell you, when we talk about networking, right? You can go network with a crackhead, or you can go network with a, you know, a, a billionaire, or you can go network with a tweaker, or you can go network with the person that is feeding the most homeless people. Go, I'm telling you, whoever goes downtown to your city, it's, it's the, you're, you're gonna be like, what the hell is Mike talking about? And you're gonna go downtown to your city, and you're gonna be like, well, I start spotting him. Well, what, it, it's, like, it's like, you're like external to it. Has anybody noticed that yet? Oh, yeah. It's, I, I'm telling you, we're, we're, we have a penthouse tonight in downtown. I'm telling you, go downtown, and you're like, oh, these are the young cute girls. And they all got the same body shape. Oh man, these guys right here, these are the thug guys. Oh shit, right here, those are the stoners. Oh, it, it, <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know? Okay, so why do I tell you that? I tell you that to tell you this. Jim Rohn quote. If you guys don't know Jim Rohn, look him up. Jim Rohn is Tony Robbins' mentor. You heard me? He says, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Okay, you want to write this down. I didn't say this. If you're not making the money that you want to make, it's because you're not hanging around with the right people. Okay? If you're not hanging around with the fucking, uh, um, if you're not making the money you want to make, you gotta, you're not hanging out with the right people. Okay, I told Ruli, I said, I told Ruli, we talked to, I told Ruli about two weeks ago, I said, hey bro, I said, bro, I don't wanna be, Ruli's my gym partner. And I'm like, bro, I'm growing so fast right now, dude, just look what I'm doing, I'm growing so fast, bro. And right now you're at a standstill. And I was like, bro, I don't wanna sound like an asshole, but you're not growing fast enough. And like, I could, I'm your brother first, you know, I'm your loved one for sure, I'm your teammate, but also I'm your mentor. So if you wanna keep hanging out with me, bro, and go to the gym, you gotta, you gotta start getting your shit together. You can't be crashing the damn Euro snowboard, you can't be crashing the damn Porsche, you can't, like get your shit together, dude. Because by default, by natural law, I'm gonna get fucking pulled down. And really was really hurt. Well, I'll, when somebody pulled me aside and I'll talk to him, just show you how real I am. Because really was really hurt because really look you know really is like my fucking dearest closest friend one of them for sure and i was like bro you're not moving fast enough how am i not moving bro like fucking trey toner had to come over here and become the director nick legend had to come over here for a different company to become the sales trainer all these other, like you're moving too fucking slow bro this company has big problems that need to be solved and if you can solve it you can get paid on everything so all i'm telling you is just this is all about just being around the right people networking the right people